All right, boys and girls, today we're not going to look at the micro OC. We're going to look at the Max Sonic Suppressor that is on it. And we're going to look and see what's inside. So first, let's take it off the Uzi. And this is just a barrel nut that I've made for the micro with the Mac threads on it, so I can put it on. So this is an original Powder Springs Mac suppressor. It's a 9mm suppressor. Um, I got it used and kind of beat up. Um, it is a wipe suppressor. Uh, this can does not have the wipe set up in it. Um, it was taken out a long time ago, uh, plus the stuff in the, uh, in the first stage was taken out. So this was kind of used and abused when I got it, and I'm starting to put it back together, and I'm going to recore it. All right, uh... These were made in the 70s um, by Sonics, and then Sonics ended up changing into Military Armament Corporation. So let's take a look at what's inside these. So if we, there we go. It took me a lot to get this apart originally. We unscrew this bottom very carefully. Actually, I'll unscrew the top. That's the back of it and the hole going all the way through. I can see you. I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? I don't know. But this first stage is filled with those. And it's a coned piece that goes over the end of the barrel. The barrel on an original Mac goes to about here. And these vent holes allow everything out into the chamber. And these are just 3 sixteenths uh, eyelets and these are all brand new oh I dropped one these shoelace eyelets are all brand new uh, I actually when I got this suppressor there was none in there but this is originally what it took and so I needed replacements so I looked around and lo and behold I found them in little packs at Hobby Lobby, and I had them order me 10 packs of them. So, I've got plenty now. Well, it took about eight packs to do, so I got a couple of spare packs. So there's that. You... Unscrew the cap. Okay, this cap should have a couple of washers, um, a, I believe it was neoprene uh, wipe, and a spacer. And if you can see the stake marks, that was staked in. Well, the, all that is long gone out of, that suppress, out of this suppressor. So then, I don't know if you can see it in there. And I think this might work. Yep. Just got to break it loose. Then I can get in there. And unscrew that. If I don't spill everything everywhere. Come on, one of these days, 
I'll make a tool for this to go on the die grinder. It'd probably screw up the thread, threads. It'd be real easy to screw up the threads that way. Okay, see, you can see this is just a, a nut here. So there's that piece. And let me get this stuff in order. We're gonna go like that. And like that. This will go down here. Move that back a little bit. That goes there. Then you have one spiral baffle. Come on out of there. I had it out the other day, I swear. There we go. Just a little schmutz in there. There's a second spiral baffle. And then a cone baffle. like that so you can see it but that's all there is to to a sonic suppressor or a Mac suppressor um, this first stage with the eyelets in there it actually works pretty damn good um, it allows a lot of the gas to escape so you get less gas blowback into your face and uh, it really helps to quiet it so when you put it back together I'm going to go like that. You take these, and you want to be real careful because if you lift this up when you're pouring it in, they dump all over the place. So we just kind of take these, and you dump them all over the table. That's exactly what you do. See, what did I tell you? You pick that up and they go everywhere. There we go. Let's try this again. See if we have any more success. That seems to work better. Now the other thing is you gotta kinda shake these down. Get them to seat in there. Cause if you don't, if you don't have enough in there, you hear it shake, it's like a damn rattle. No, 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 no. Get these last couple in there. Kind of go like that. That one doesn't want to go in. So you carefully take this, start it on. Kind of 
tap it around so they'll seat. And then you screw that on. I don't know if you can hear that. Hear them rattling around in there? Then the baffle goes with the cone facing where the muzzle would be. One of these baffles, and it doesn't matter which way these go in. They're the same either way. So you drop those in. And I will be replacing everything in this second stage with uh, new baffles. And I don't know what kind of baffles I'm going to do yet. I, I'm debating whether I should do a monocore. I've got a good design for a monocore that I can adapt to it, or if I should go with um, stacked baffles. Uh, you know, kind of six of one, half dozen of another. There we go. That's tight. And then you just put the baffle on. And there you go, Sonic Suppressor. Again, this is Richard with BWE Firearms, and I hope the information in this video helped. Um, it is my intention to try to spread my knowledge before I check out. Um, because once I'm gone, if I don't do this, I'll end up taking it with me, and that doesn't help anybody out. So um, if you would uh, please like and subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. That helps me out in the algorithms, and maybe some more people will see it. Uh, if you want to support my channel, I have an uh, item in my shopping cart where you can donate money. Uh, to support the channel and help me do other videos. Uh, I will leave a link to that item uh, in my website. Of course, my site is all secure and safe and everything else. Um, but again, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some knowledge out of it and you have a nice day.